Welcome, class. Today we are going to be working on finding the missing link in a figure. And also, we're going to do perimeter of piecewise rectangular figure. Today we are going to learn how to find the missing link of a shape. First of all, we find out that this place is having a missing link. In order to do the missing link, you have to subtract. So, in order to get it, you see this line right here, this dotted line, so you know it. So, equal to that is the 15. So, you do 15, and then you minus the 6, because that's not in there. So, you minus the 6 to get 9. So, erase this and put 9 meters for the missing line. So, today we are going to work on perimeter of a piecewise rectangular figure. It sounds complicated, but it's just finding the missing length and then adding all the sides. So, let's get started. So, we know how to find the, find the sides. So, we have 15 here, and then that we have 6 and 6. So, what's across from 15? It would be 15 feet. So, that equals 15 feet. Okay? So, now, let's do perimeter. So we add 15 and 15, and we all know that 5 plus 5 is 10, 1 plus 1 plus 1 equals 3, so that is 30. So now we have to do 6 plus 6, so 6 plus 6, 6 plus 6 is 12. So now we're going to take 30 and 12, so we're going to take 30 plus 12. You no, know, 0 plus 2 is 2, and we have 3 plus 1 equals 4. So we know that it, that is 42 feet. We don't put the cubes, we don't put the 2 or 3, because we're not, we're not multiplying. We are doing perimeter, but not area. Okay, so today we are doing a little bit harder problem when finding the missing link of a shape. So this time we have two missing. So what do we do? First we have to subtract, but we have to find what we need to subtract. So we, for to get this, we have to do the 15 meters minus the 10 meters, because you have to draw that imaginary line to equal this. So you do 15 minus 10 meters equals 5 meters. So right here equals five meters. Now, in order to find this, you must do 12 minus the three, because you have to find this to equal that. So 12 minus three meters equals nine meters. So erase this, and this equals nine meters. This is our last problem. So, we notice that there's a missing length, so we have to find that out. So we have 10, and we're gonna draw that imaginary line. And this is four, and we find out this, and this is 10. So we are gonna do 10 minus four. And we know that 10 minus 4 equals 6. So this equals 6 centimeters. So now let's find out what it is. So the easiest thing is to make it to have a 0 at the end. So we already have 10. So 16 plus 4 equals 20. So that's the easiest. So when it's a huge problem and has a lot of numbers, I usually cross out. So 6 16 plus 4 equals 20. I usually do that because it makes it an easier number to add. So we have 20. Then we're going to add 10 plus 10. And what's 20 plus 10? That's right. It's 30. So then we have these three numbers crossed out. Let's do 11. So we're going to cross out 11, add it 30. 
So, 0 plus 1 is 1. 3 plus 1 is 4. So we have 41. Now, we're going to add the 6. And we don't have room here, so I'm just going to go right here. So 41 centimeters plus 6. 1 plus 6 is 7. And 4 plus nothing is 4. So we have 47 centimeters. So now, let's add the 5, the last number. So 47 plus 5 centimeters. 7 plus 5 is 12. 4 plus 1 is 5. So it's 52 centimeters. So, sorry, P equals 52 centimeters. The P equals perimeter. Now that's all for today. So I hope you learned a lot. Bye. I hope you learned a lot. And that is all for today. Bye.